Hey guys, it's me, John Avenger, once again, and welcome to another update. I got a few DVDs to show you guys uh, that I got in March. It's not a lot, but I'm going to try to show you, a, you know, real quick. It's a small update. Hopefully the one in May I do is going to be a lot bigger because, you know, I want to buy more media. I did get some stuff on Amazon I'm going to show in, in May, so that's coming. Uh, no Blu-rays this time because, you know, I couldn't find any good ones. I did get some DC stuff, though. I got this one. I'm going to see this later. Batman Unlimited Animal Instincts. Yeah, I like the these Batman movies that they did. Um, um, uh, was it uh, Mechs vs. Mutants and uh, uh, Monster Mayhem and all that? They're pretty good. They're short and sweet. I'm going to see this later. It's about uh, 77 minutes long. If you've seen this, uh, tell me in the comment section if you did. It's got some of the same voice cast from the other films. Uh, Roger Craig Smith, he's the voice of Batman. He also did uh, Captain America in the Avengers cartoon. Here's another DC movie. I've heard that this one is pretty good. Uh, the, I like the uh, uh, the, the style is probably going to be for me. DC animated Batman Ninja. Yes, I finally got this. It was a dollar at Dollar Tree. I couldn't resist because it was it's new. It's from a couple years ago, and I want to check it out. Um, this one's eighty five minutes. It's basically Batman as an anime. Look at that art style. East meets West in a spectacular all-new Batman animated film. So, yeah, if you've seen Batman Ninja, tell me in the comment section if you thought this movie was good. Uh, it's got a different voice cast. It's got the same voice actor doing Batman. It's also got some Japanese actors in the film because it's Batman in Japan. In feudal Japan, I think, yeah. Or something like that. So, I'm interested. Batman's my favorite DC character, so I want to check this out sometime. This is the last DC movie I have. Uh, it's a two. It's a double bill of Scooby Doo films with a uh, uh, crossover with DC. You got Scooby Doo, Batman, Brave and the Bold, which I saw a couple years ago, and Scooby Doo meets Batman. So the, I got these two films. I enjoy these. I, I think they're pretty uh, underrated. Uh, the Brave and the Bold is 75 minutes long, and Batman and Meets Batman is 82 minutes. So these are short. None of these are four hours like the Snyder Cut. So, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, it's got a different voice cast in it, though. Uh, mainly the main voice actors from the cartoon... Uh, is Matthew Lillard in the new one? I, I think he is, yeah. You got Frank Welker, yeah, Greg, Greg Griffin, Matthew Lillard, and Kate McCucci, the new voice of Velma, the most recent voice of Velma, because uh, Mindy Cohen retired a couple years ago from the well, role. They're both on one disc, so that's what see, I love. I love getting physical media, because I want to keep that uh, aspect of collecting alive, because, you know, digital copies, they're good to have when you travel or when you don't go out, but it's good to have a physical disc in case, you know, the Wi-Fi goes out, so it's good to have this, and the last film I got is a uh, thriller from 2014 with an actress from Batman Begins, Dawson's Creek, and a bunch of other stuff, Miss Meadows, yes, Justice is Sweet, Katie Holmes stars in Miss Meadows. Pulp Fiction, Mary Poppins, that's what they say here. I was interested in seeing this because I never heard of it. I had skipped this when it was in theaters and limited screens. Uh, 88 minutes long, so it's not two hours. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. This has other actors in it, but I never really heard of most of them. But I'm, uh, Jean Smart is in it. I know her, but most of the rest of the cast are probably a bunch of other no uh, unknowns. Uh, Ava Coker, I know. She was in, uh, I think she was in Girl Meets World. She's probably the little girl here. Not rated. It's probably going to be violent, but I want to give it a shot. And that's all I got, guys. Yeah, small stack this time. Didn't buy a lot of stuff. Next time, my stack will be a little bit bigger, hopefully. But a couple of DC films and a, and a thriller with a girl. No action films this time because, well, they didn't have that many. I mean, I usually go to the dollar store to get these films. I got all of these films at a dollar store except for that uh, An Batman Animal, Animal Instincts.
But hey, that's a couple of films to see for the month of April. April's pretty short. I enjoyed Godzilla vs. Kong. I can't wait till that's on Blu-ray and the Snyder Cut as well. So thanks for watching. And next time, my uh, first uh, video will be Adrenaline Month, Action Adrenaline Month, which will be mostly action films and thrillers, you know, that have a lot of action and make you make, make your adrenaline pump up. So stay tuned for that and some more live streams as well. So see you guys in the next one.